welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie, and you're here to learn about Korean skincare, mental health, and just have a little bit of me. Hi guys, sorry, so I'm right here editing the video and I realized that I did not close the blinds and I had my ring light on. So things are looking a little intense in terms of lighting. <laughs> so I apologize, but um, I'll make sure the blinds are closed next time, but onto the video. So for today's video, we're actually doing a full review on a company I'm working with that I'm so excited. I've been using these products for over a month and that Korean skincare company slash brand is Axis Y. They pride themselves in making sure their products are basically high quality, something you look forward to opening up, something you could pride yourself on putting on your shelving. They also love incorporating protection from the climate and also using ingredients that are natural but not necessarily harmful for your skin. So it's not like they use high percentage of like vitamin C from lemons and oranges and mandarin. They actually will incorporate something into the product that's a little bit more stabilized, effective, natural, but not something that might be, you know, irritating or harmful to some individuals. The climate aspect, I just absolutely love from the skincare brand. They really make sure you're protected from the sun, you're protected from, you know, environmental stressors. They make sure anything that's in their products boosts the other layers of your products. And so we're going to get into three products they actually sent me. And those three products are mostly aimed towards my issues and the issues that I'm trying to help people through here. And that's acne, redness, clogged pores, acne prone skin. People are just prone to cl getting clogged and redness and hyperpigmentation. So those three products I'm going to show you now. So first things first, I'm going to go in order of the skincare routine. So the one I was really excited to try, I kept seeing on Instagram, that I just really wanted to see how it would work for my skin. And that's the Axis Y Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash Off Pack. This mask, whoa guys, okay, I have to show you this texture. Look at that texture. Look at it. It's just so minty looking, oh, and oh, smells so fresh. It smells like rosemary. It smells medicinal, and I just love it so much. As you can see, I'm halfway through. I do use some other clay masks depending on how my skin is feeling, but this one, guys, anytime I went, oh, I can use this today, I was so excited. Like, I'm going to use it today, actually. <laughs> Basically, this is a mugwort clay mask that has little aduki beans, if you can see in there. And basically, the first thing that came to mind when I saw this was this literally looks and feels like the um, Mask of Magna Minty from Lush. Do you remember that? I freaking remember that mask. <laughs> that mask was the mask every like teenager used in high school. <laughs> and for some of us, even into adulthood. Maybe some people still use it now. What I loved about the mask was the green color. Because when you first got into skincare, you went towards the color green. Because that's what you saw on TV and movies, right? Just like girls and guys laying down with a green face mask, a bathrobe, and like cucumbers over their eyes. Like, that was like the look you were trying to achieve. That's what we thought we wanted. This is everything the Mask of Magnet Minty needed to be, basically. This is like the grown-up, the glow-up version of the Mask of Magnet Minty. I mean, it feels like it. It's green. It's got those adukey beans to lightly exfoliate physically after you wash it off. You don't feel it as much when putting it on. And it has just that medic I have to go in again. Just that medicinal smell from the rosemary. So this is basically oil-free. The only oil in here is the rosemary leaf oil. And that's what gives you a little bit of a tingling sensation, a cooling sensation. And usually I'm not for essential oils or fragrance in any of my products. I am okay with it in my cleansers or anything that washes off of my skin. Um, and in this one, I am totally okay with it. I'm actually happy it's in here. And it never really irritated my skin. It only provided that kind of like cooling sensation. And it also, rosemary has antibacterial effects and purifying effects. So it actually has a use in this product. This one is actually made up of kaolin clay. 
And additionally, on top of the mugwort, which it has in here a high concentration of, which mugwort is going to soothe your skin, lower redness, lower inflammation, and just help your skin be soothed. It's basically Korea's tea tree. It actually has Camellia sinensis leaf powder. What is that? Green tea powder. What is that? Matcha. So it's got mugwort and matcha in here. It's got that rosemary to purify. It's got a dookie beans to physically exfoliate lightly. It also has licorice root extract to help with hyperpigmentation. It's got oat kernel extract, so oats to really soothe your skin. It has hautania cordata to help with just like making your skin cell turnover better, helping with brightening, helping with hyperpigmentation, lowering that redness, and actually has even more. I think I'm gonna have to pull up my phone. Okay, so I have the ingredient list here. So on top of everything I told you, it's got more. So I'm gonna read it off here. It also has bentonite clay on top of the kaolin clay. It's got betaine to soothe. It's got like extracts I can't even pronounce. Like. It has Laminaria Haponica Extract, Eclipita Prostrata Leaf Extract, Pateris Mulifida Extract, and, oh, something I know, Artichoke Extract. <laughs> so it has these Korean ingredients on the very top of the list, right after the clay. And basically those are to help soothe and cool down your skin, purify it. I don't know too much about those other extracts, but so far, I mean, Maybe it's been the reason why it's so soothing and calming to the skin. Okay, let's get down to the stuff I know. <laughs> Sodium hyaluronate, so it's going to hydrate your skin while purifying it. So it's not going to dry it out like other clay masks. It also has charcoal powder, so it's going to really just soak up that excess oil from your skin. It also has beta-glucan, which is high in vitamin E, so it's going to help even out your skin tone. It also has... And then toin to soothe another hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. And lastly, it's got probiotics, Saccharomyces fermin filtrate. So it's got a lot going for it. I mean, I never have to pull up my phone to look at ingredient lists. I basically memorize ingredient lists. That was a lot. And they were down to the bottom of the list. So this is so effective, so nice. And this is one of those clay masks that does dry down like a classic clay mask where it hardens. You can take it off before, but they do say to wash it off once it's dry. And when I do that, I don't feel dry, like afterwards. I still feel hydrated, I feel smooth, I feel clean. It's just a wonderful mask to try, and I highly recommend you guys actually try this out. Um, I'll put the link down below to each of these products. But this is a must for my oily, acne-prone, redness-prone, clog-prone individuals. And this honestly would be a great gift to give someone. But 10 out of 10, I highly recommend. Can't wait to use this tonight. And next we have the Dark Spot Correcting Glow Serum. So I talked about this in my last video. And this one is almost done. I still got like one or two more pumps left of this. Probably have like two days left. And this one, guys, is really, really nice. Also oil-free. Basically, I asked them to send me anything that was oil-free and also things that would help acne and redness and clog pores and such. And this one has been such a great one to use in the morning. I mean, first of all, application-wise, it goes on and it makes you glow. Like, it's not lying. Not greasy, not like silicone -y, just glowy. It is so lovely to put in your morning routine so that you can have a glowy day. And so what contributes to this glowiness, it's got sodium hyaluronate, so it's going to be a humectant and hydrate your skin all throughout the day. Additionally, it's a gel texture, so it's going to sink in like that. Really nice. I just do four pumps on my face and I feel awesome. On the very top are niacinamide 5%, squalane to hydrate, and sea buckthorn fruit extract. So those are the three heavy hitters they really want to pronounce in this product. And niacinamide has been shown to have an effect from two to 5%. You don't need 10%. Some people could use it, but after that it becomes like a potential liability to become irritated. So 5% is just Chef's kiss. It's just so beautiful, so perfect, 
and it's just a good percentage to have. And then the squalane is really good to hydrate that skin. I feel hydrated, locked in, not greasy. I don't feel like it's gonna clog my pores. And then the C buckthorn provides that vitamin C and then vitamin E to brighten, fade hyperpigmentation, and just is a great ingredient to have under your sunscreen to boost your sunscreen because of that vitamin C content. Because it also has naturally vitamin E in it, it's very stabilized and it's really gonna go to work on your skin. Additionally, what and I read the ingredient list, I thought, no way. It also has licorice root extract and it has rice extract. So, brightening the house, dude. Like, <laughs> this is really gonna brighten you up. And just using this, I just love it because I know I'm getting so many benefits from it. So, I really recommend this if you wanna do hyperpigmentation work. I did, I did so basically the hyperpigmentation, I was looking at my skin every day, trying to figure out if it was fading it. And honestly guys, my hyperpigmentation has been fading immensely. Like little by little, but faster than I ever have. I mean, I do have a whole routine dedicated to acne. I just bumped up my adapalene. I've been incorporating benzoyl peroxide as a spot treatment. So I'm letting this kind of tell me, are you working? Are you fading everything away? And so far, spots have had a faster kind of life cycle. Like they go from red to dark to fading quicker than they usually would. And usually it takes a long time for me. I think I've been using it for maybe a month and a half, two months. So I think with every morning use, this will last you like two months. And it's really nice. I highly recommend this. If you want to help fade hyperpigmentation, have a serum that kind of protects you from the environment and just lets you glow and hydrates you. It really is like a multivitamin serum stage that just helps you with so many things. And I truly believe this has also helped with texture on my forehead. Forehead texture has been fading and this plus some other stuff has really been helping. Like if I'm in a hurry for my morning routine, I'll skip any other serum and I'll just go with this and go in with my sunscreen because this is so nice and just does a little bit of everything. Last but not least, the one product you've been seeing all over Instagram, the product that a lot of people have been reviewing and that is the Complete No Stress Physical Sunscreen by Access Y. First of all, let's talk about this packaging. Look how nice that is. Additionally, it's got that mugwort extract in there. It's got niacinamide 2% and squalane, all in a mineral formula that's non-tinted, and it's not supposed to leave a white cast. Now, I'm not gonna go too in-depth with it, because there are a lot of other sunscreen dedicated videos to this. Um, Glow by Ramon is one, um, I believe. There's been other YouTubers that have talked about this, but I've seen it a lot on Instagram. Now, I'm just gonna say this. It's a physical sunscreen. Depending on how much you use of this, it will leave a slight white cast. But if you use a moderate, like kind of not too liberal <laughs> um, amount, it'll sink right in, no white cast. It'll almost give you like a, um, what's it called? Like a glow up effect, like kind of widens you in a good way. So this one is really nice for that. Um, Non-tinted. And I will say it is mattifying. So straight to the point, mattifying might leave a slight white cast, but all in all, it's not a horrible mineral sunscreen. And you do truly feel protected because it has a high percentage of mineral zinc oxide. And it's got 12% of that. So it's really, really like effective. And it's not like invisible where you even question it. Like, is this protecting me? It's almost too invisible. This is a mineral formula that's going to work. It's doing its thing gives you a matte look. Now, so we're gonna talk about the ingredients. So like I said, it's got those three ingredients, mugwort, niacinamide, and squalane. Now, you would think those things would kind of like be like a glowy finish, but like I said, it does leave you matte. And the niacinamide 2% really keeps your skin in check. It does kind of soothe based off those ingredients, but honestly, it's not the biggest soother. Um, like the Keep Cool Soothe Bamboo does soothe a lot. So compared to that, this doesn't necessarily soothe, but if you want something that's mineral and has those extra soothing ingredients, you can't go wrong with this. It will not irritate your skin. So like I said, I've been using this for weeks, 
But you know what? Because I've been using it for weeks, I forgot what other ingredients it has. So I'm looking here, and it also has calendula extract to soothe, grape extract to have a protective film on the skin. Oh, it has green tea. I totally forgot about that. Chamomile and allantoin. It also has two seed oil like extracts from the ingredient list. Um, let's see here. It's got planted genium seed oil as well as sunflower seed oil. But see, the thing is, I was scared of those oils. That's why I thought it was going to be like greasy or like glowy. But I don't see this, the need for those oils because it didn't feel like it really hydrated. Like under this, you need a moisturizer. You can't just go in with this. You need a moisturizer. Also, radish root, radish root fermented filtrate, so it's got probiotics there, it's got a tripeptide, it's got vitamin E, and it also has a adenosine to help with aging and fine lines and wrinkles. It's got a lot going for it, but at the end of the day, it's not what I thought it was going to be in terms of glowiness and how it applied and whatnot, but let's talk about the packaging. It's a great packaging. This is one of my favorite tubes because it just it's so easy to reapply, it's so easy to like put on there. But like I said, if you put on a, a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot, it will give you a slight white cast. Um, reapplication is very easy, especially if you put it on top of like a tinted something. Like I put it on top of my tinted, no, I put it on top of my CC cream. And honestly, it took a little bit of coverage away, but it didn't whiten it. And I felt more refined, I felt more refreshed, and I had a good layer of sunscreen on again. And all I did was just sh 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 and put it on with a cotton puff. And that way it worked perfectly with no white cast. So this would be perfect to reapply on top of makeup or anything that's tinted. Basically, this is a nice mineral sunscreen that protects you from the environment, keeps you mattified. All in all, this is a great sunscreen. And if you take everything I said into consideration, you can either go for it or not. But I like this as an option as a mineral sunscreen for those days. I really want like really good, good protection and I can totally trust this to protect me from the environment. And that is my full review of the Axis Y products. That's three out of the other ones they have. These were the only ones that were oil free to like to the most, you know, like the sunscreen had oils and they do have rosemary oil, but like that, wasn't a deal breaker for me, basically. The other ones had more essential oils and stuff. These did not. And they were more targeted toward acne. And I can say, as an acne prone individual, and that's what this channel is about, they are all acne approved. I was so scared that the sunscreen was gonna like clog me up or break me out. It did not. So if you're worried about that, you don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> hey guys, so that's my review. I hope you liked it. I hope I answered any questions. Um, if you guys are interested in more content, if you guys are interested more in these products, let me know down below or go to my skincare page on Instagram and DM me and let me know if there's anything I missed that you wanted to know, but pretty much sound off below. All right guys, before I go, remember to please subscribe if you like this content. Every subscribe helps this channel produce more content and I can work with more brands to help you guys get like a solid opinion on something before you spend your money. Especially in these times, we really want to spend our money wisely. Okay guys, thank you so much for following me. Thank you so much for watching this video. You are so appreciated. Sending my love. Have an awesome day.